Hello everybody, Toastbomb here, bringing you guys some information that you may have heard of already because I'm a little late to the draw on this. But regardless, I wanted to make the video just in case some of you guys out there haven't seen this information. Now this information is information regarding the weapon balancing in Halo 4. That is right, we finally got information about this. We've been strung along week by week, 343 telling us that they are doing something but never actually giving us details and they finally have. Now before I get into these details though, I want to let you guys know that these things are not concrete. What they're working on now is what they are testing now. And now, until release, could be something completely different. But they have been testing these for a long time, so I'm assuming that they're, you know, pretty certain that this is you know mostly what we're going to see in the release but I just wanna let you guys know that this stuff isn't necessarily what you're going to be playing with but it's probably pretty close so anyways let's get into it by starting to talk about what their overall idea was for this weapon balancing so basically they said look guys we understand the DMR it's overpowered it's easy to use it's deadly accurate and it has a shorter kill time than many of the other weapons in Halo 4. So, they said, in instead of nerfing the DMR, instead of just, oh, just poop on the DMR and make it way worse so it equals out with everything else, they said, dude, let's just beef up everything else up to DMR status. Now, this is crazy because, you know, change of the DMR, one weapon, that's not going to change a whole lot, but changing every single weapon except for the DMR, basically, and bumping it up to that status is going to change strategies, metagame, all this stuff, and it's just going to provide a faster paced overall Halo 4 experience, which is awesome because a fast paced Halo 4 or fast paced Halo anything is always a fun Halo. So, anyways, let's get into the changes. Now, for the BR, what they're doing is potentially switching it to a four shot kill. That is right, four shot kill. BR may be returning. That BR that we all fell in love in with Halo 2, Halo 3 was amazing. And that's why we fell in love with it, and it might be coming back. Now, obviously, the Halo 4 BR shoots pretty dang quick. I mean, it, it's pretty fast on the trigger there. So what they're doing is slowing down the rate of fire. Now, word on the street has it the final kill time will end up being about 1.4 seconds to 1.6 seconds. Now, to put that in reference to you for you guys, 1.4 seconds is the amount of time it takes a light rifle while zoomed in to kill somebody, and 1.6 seconds is the amount of time it takes a DMR to kill somebody. So it's anywhere between that range. Now, I could talk about this update all day for you guys just this BR specifically and I'm so excited for it that if I don't switch now to another weapon I'm just gonna start drooling all over this paper I have in front of me so let's just switch to the light rifle so the right light rifle is not being adjusted that much all that is changing is the red reticle range that you get when zoomed in to match the DMR so red reticle is something that happens in Halo when you are aiming at an enemy you're reticle switches from that baby blue to the red and when you're getting the red that means that you're getting auto assist from the game so every weapon has different um, ranges that they can get this uh, auto assist this red reticle from and the light rifles was shorter than the DMRs and now it'll be longer when it's matching the DMRs so that just makes the light rifle a little bit more powerful when it is zoomed in then, with the carbine, they're switching it to a 7-shot kill. Right now it is 8 shots, and it's kind of useless. It's not the best primary weapon uh, in the game at all. Um, but they will be bumping it down to 7 shots for a kill. Now, if you remember, back in, like, E3, uh, Comic-Con, even PAX, I think... The Carbine was a 7-shot kill, and it was really effective back then. I think some other stuff was tweaked in that at that time, the settings, that made the Carbine a little bit better. But it was beefy back then, and it was worth using, pretty much. I still think after this update, it won't be the best thing in the world, because you still have that shallow clip. It doesn't hold very much ammo, so there's stuff like that you have to look out for. But I think this will really help the Carbine. Then, for the automatic weapons such as the AR, the suppressor, and the storm rifle, they'll be getting a slight damage increase, but their auto assist will be lowered. So there will be less auto assist on these automatic weapons. 
I've heard the number 50% auto assist decrease thrown around from people, but I haven't seen anything confirmed by 343 people, so I don't know if that is actually true. But regardless, it will be lowered, which I think is a good thing, even if they didn't change the damage, because I think they're just too easy to use, those automatic rifles. They should be a little bit harder to use, I think. It's just a little too easy right now. And especially if you're buffing the damage so it's not going to take as long to kill somebody, there should be an auto assist uh, decrease right there. Then, they are bumping the damage up on the Warthog and the Mantis Chain Gun. Now, I wasn't really as aware of the Warthog machine gun turret needing a buff increase. I'm not really that big of a big team battle guy, but I, I definitely noticed the Mantis. The Mantis dude, the chain gun, is not the most effective weapon in the game. I mean, it's basically like shooting peas. And not even the frozen peas. Not even the frozen peas. It's like the peas that you didn't want to eat, so you dumped them under the dinner table and they just kind of been sitting around for a day and a half. It's those peas. They're just flying at Spartans, splatting around on them, and it, it's not paintball, so that doesn't count as a kill. So, it's really not effective, and I'm glad they're bumping that up, because the Mantis machine gun is just kind of useless at this point. Also, they didn't mention anything about the rockets of the Mantis. It doesn't sound like they're tweaking those at all. Just the chain gun. Now, also, the last thing they talked about was the beam rifle. They want to decrease the auto assist on the beam rifle. Now, this is a very welcome change, but they don't say completely take it out. And this is because I think that was kind of their envisioning vision of what the, they wanted the beam rifle to be, right? In the previous Halos, the human sniper and the beam rifle were very, very similar to each other, just kind of rate of fire stuff and the amount of ammo they could hold. That was sort of the, the only difference they had. But I think they really wanted to differentiate the snipers a little bit more and kind of have more of a tiered system where the human snipers at the bottom, then it goes the beam rifle, then obviously the binary rifle, where it's just one shot killing guys insanity. But at the same time, in their own right, they have these other little tweaks, cons, pros, to them that make them uh, their own unique weapon. So I think that's sort of what they envision the beam rifle to be, sort of this more no scopey, slightly easier to use, more powerful sniper, but it just ended up being a little bit overboard. So I'm glad they're looking into changes for that because it is kind of ridiculous. So anyways, that'll be it for this video. If you liked it, you can leave a like or a comment, or you could subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.